Ever wondered how to keep your pets safe during emergencies? In a world where unexpected events can turn our lives upside down, it's crucial to prepare not just for ourselves but for our beloved pets as well. Unfortunately, there's a glaring lack of information out there when it comes to pet safety during emergencies. That's why we're here today to shed light on this overlooked topic. Stay with us as we delve into practical tips for keeping your furry friends safe when disaster strikes. First off, assemble a pet emergency kit. Now that's a crucial starting point. You'll want to include a few essentials, a good supply of food and fresh water naturally. Don't forget to rotate these items periodically to keep them fresh. Next up, medications. If your pet is on any regular medication, make sure you have a backup supply. It could be a real game changer in a pinch. Now, for comfort items. We're talking about the familiar things that make your pet feel at home. It could be a favorite toy, blanket, or even a specific treat. These items can help reduce stress for your pet in an unfamiliar or scary situation. And lastly, don't forget a sturdy leash or a carrier. You never know when you might need to move quickly or keep your pet secure. Remember, a well-prepared kit can be a lifesaver. After all, our furry friends depend on us to keep them safe and sound. Next, maintain up-to-date information. It's like keeping your pantry stocked. You never know when you'll need it. Make sure your pet's identification and vaccination records are current. This can be a lifesaver in a post-SHTF scenario. And don't forget about microchips. They're not just for secret agents. They're a quick and easy way to identify your furry friend if they get lost. Remember, in times of uncertainty, having accurate and updated information about your pet can make a big difference in a crisis. Tip 3. Train your pets. Now, this might sound like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how many folks overlook this crucial step. Training your pets to respond to basic commands is not just about having well-behaved companions. In times of crisis, it can be the difference between chaos and control. Imagine the power just went out, and you need to move quickly. A pet that's been trained to come when called or stay in a designated spot can be a lifesaver. You don't want to be scrambling in the dark, trying to wrangle a panicked animal. This is why investing time in training your pets now can pay off in spades down the line. And it's not just about emergency situations either. A well-trained pet is easier to manage on a day-to-day -day basis and can be less of a stressor when tensions are already running high, so take the time, do the work. Remember, a trained pet is a safer pet. Fourthly, secure your home. In the wake of an emergency, your home is your pet's first line of defense. It's crucial to make your living space as safe as possible for your four-legged companions. Start by securing heavy items that could topple over, causing potential harm. This includes furniture like bookcases, televisions, and appliances. Next, identify safe spots in your home where your pet can retreat to during a crisis. These should be spaces that are easily accessible, away from windows and free from hazards. Additionally, consider installing safety gates or barriers to restrict your pet's access to potentially dangerous areas especially during times of high stress. Last but not least, ensure that all exits are secure to prevent your pet from escaping in a panic. Remember, a safe environment is a less stressful environment for your pet. And less stress means better health and a higher chance of survival in an emergency. A secure home equals a safer pet. Uh, tip number five, understand your pet's behavior. It's crucial to know your pet like the back of your hand. Each animal has its unique quirks and habits which can serve as indicators of their emotional and physical state. You see, when the chips are down, your pet might not act as they usually do. Stress, fear, or illness can alter their behavior significantly. Your cat might hide more often, or your dog might become more aggressive. These changes are your pet's way of communicating that something is off. By being familiar with their normal behavior, you'll be able to spot any deviations quickly. This can be the difference between catching an illness early or noticing that your pet is scared and needs reassurance. In a post-disaster situation, your pet's behavior can be your early warning system, alerting you to dangers you might not have noticed. So, get to know your pet, their habits, their likes, and dislikes. Knowing your pet can be the key to their safety. Moving on to tip six, always have a plan. Now I can't stress this enough, folks. Just like you'd have a plan for your family in case of an emergency, you need one for your pets too. You see, when things go south, Having an evacuation plan that includes your pets is not just smart, it's essential. Think about it. When the pressure is on, knowing exactly what to do can save precious time and avoid unnecessary panic. So, here's what you do. Map out your home, identify all possible exits, and decide on a safe meeting point. 
Now, practice this plan with your pets. Yes, you heard me right, practice. Just like a fire drill. Get your pets used to the idea of a swift, orderly exit. Remember, in a crisis, every second counts. And your pets, they're counting on you. So don't let them down. A solid plan can save both you and your pet's life. Lastly, stay calm. It's no secret that our pets are in tune with our emotions. They can sense when we're happy, sad, anxious, or even when we're scared. This emotional connection is profound and often overlooked. In a crisis, if we panic, our pets are likely to do the same. They mirror our emotions, and a panicked pet can make an already difficult situation even more challenging. So, when the chips are down and things are looking grim, remember to keep your cool. It's easier said than done, I know, but your ability to stay calm can be the difference between chaos and order. Practice mindful breathing, keep your voice steady, and maintain a composed demeanor. Your pet will pick up on your calmness, and it can help them stay grounded. In a world turned upside down, your pet will look to you for guidance. Your calmness can be your pet's anchor during emergencies. To recap, we've covered several crucial tips for pet safety during emergencies. Let's take a moment to revisit these key points and remind ourselves of the importance of being prepared. First, we discussed the importance of preparing a pet emergency kit. This kit should include all the necessary items your pet might need in a crisis, from food and water to medical supplies. Don't forget to regularly check and update this kit as needed. Next, we talked about keeping your pet's information updated. This involves regularly updating your pet's ID tag, microchip information, and keeping a recent photo of your pet handy. In case you get separated from your pet, this information will significantly increase your chances of being reunited. The third tip revolved around training. Teaching your pet basic commands can be a lifesaver in emergency situations. A well-trained pet is easier to manage and less likely to panic or run away in a crisis. We then moved on to securing your home. Ensuring your home is safe and secure can prevent your pet from getting lost or injured. This includes securing all possible escape routes and removing any hazardous materials that your pet might get into. Understanding your pet's behavior was our fifth tip. Knowing the signs of stress in your pet can help you respond appropriately during an emergency. Always pay attention to any changes in your pet's behavior. The sixth tip was having a plan. Knowing what to do and where to go in an emergency is vital. Make sure you have a safe place where both you and your pet can stay during a crisis. Lastly, we emphasize the importance of staying calm. Your pet senses your emotions and if you panic, they're likely to panic too. Stay calm and composed and your pet will follow your lead. Remember, these tips are not just for large-scale emergencies. They can be applied to everyday situations as well. Start planning and preparing now. Don't wait for an emergency to happen. Remember your pet's safety is in your hands. Be prepared, stay safe.